we can use contract templates in OPAS to auto-generate the contents of any contract. This saves you the time of filling in each screen individually. And this is a very simple two-step process. First, we create the template. And secondly, we tell the software to use that template to auto-generate a contract for any soloist or conductor. In this video, we'll look at the first step, which is to create the template. It's very simple to do. All of our contract templates are associated with a non-performing project. In my database, it's administration. The reason we do this is we want the templates to be readily available, but we don't want them to get mixed up or confused with an actual legitimate performance pro uh, contract for a soloist or conductor. So you can see in my database I have three templates. This first one I use just for itinerary items. This one I use for a classical soloist contract, and this one for conductors. I'm going to use this soloist one as our example. And to, for you to create a, a template, all you'll do is click the new icon in the lower right hand corner, and you'll fill in the fields in a manner very similar to what I describe as we look at the different screens. The idea is to create a template that represents the way you want a typical soloist or conductor contract to appear, and then you just let the software fill in the details. So to begin with, we have our project, which again is administration. We don't want it to be a performance project. Season leave empty. OPAS will take care of that. We want the title, contract number, and code to all contain the word template, or TMP as you can see in my code. This helps OPAS keep the template contracts separate. Again, when it's auto-generated, those fields will be erased. Every contract needs an artist or a contracted entity. So for the artist, we want either a staff member at the orchestra, which I've done here, or the orchestra itself, and that's all you need. Leave instrument and agent blank, as OPAS will fill in those for you. You can assign the group if you use those uh, to uh, organize your contracts. And if we want every contract to start as uh, with a certain status, you can assign it here as I've done. We next look at the schedule and itinerary screen. The schedule top grid should be left blank. OPAS will fill that in for us. But I want every contract I create for a soloist to begin its life with the standard itinerary items for my orchestra. So I put in as many different itinerary items as are required for a standard soloist contract. And again, in the next video, you'll see when the contract is generated by the software, these items are put in, and all you have to do then is fill in the details. Next, we have the clauses and notes screen. And these clauses, again, are those that appear with a standard soloist contract. So when I produce my contract report, I have an exclusivity clause for uh, soloists, and I also have a ticket clause. So if I want to add a ticket clause to my template, I click the Add. Since this is a soloist contract, I will select the ticket soloist, and now that clause will be part of every contract I create. We now come to the financial aspects of any contract. We don't know what the soloist fee is going to be for any given soloist, but we know there's going to be one. So I set up my template to assume that every contract is going to have two line items in it. There will be a fee and some kind of transportation allowance. So I entered those by clicking the new icon in the upper right hand corner. I assigned the expense type, but I left the amount and the payment date as, as empty or zero. Those again are specific to the contract and you'll see in the next video, OPAS will drop in these items and you don't have to create the amount from scratch, you can just enter the actual amount. So again, if you have a POPS template, you may have different line items for deposits and balances, whatever you need. We next come to the additional data screen and you can see for demonstration purposes, I have all kinds of different items that you may or may not be relevant to your organization. But for the sake of example, I've decided that every time I create a contract, I want this box automatically checked. So I've gone ahead and included that in my template. And in my demo orchestra, I use the checklist for a very simple contract log so I can check the dates that the contracts go in and out. And rather than enter these items every time I create a contract, I put them in once with my template 
and let OPASS take it from there. Since documents are so unique and specific to each contract, that is empty. I don't have any linked documents. So we'll go back to the main screen. And you will use this technique to create the template or templates that are most relevant to your organization. Leave the details, the actual artist's name, instrument, agent, fee, uh, any performance dates or itinerary dates. Leave those generic or empty as you saw in this video. And in the next video, you'll see how OPAS fills those in for you.